Since the pandemic started, Joe Bodge and Doreen Heselton have been following health department rules by sanitizing and spacing the tables in the diner six feet apart. But they have not worn a mask, and someone complained to the attorney general's office about it. She said that she had a report from someone stating that we were in there operating with no mask. And my response to her was that her report was correct. The governor's order states restaurant staff must wear masks when dealing directly with customers. This isn't a case that we're going, oh my God, we don't care about people. We're saying people should have a right to make their decisions for themselves and their families. Bodge says the state threatened to take his food license away if he and his employees didn't work with a mask on. They decided to close the restaurant rather than comply. Everybody was in 100% agreement that we've stood this long for our beliefs. We couldn't back down now. The remaining ice cream will be sold until the end of the month. Our daughter, Karen, is letting people know as they come in if they would like her to wear a mask, she will put one on. Since the decision, they say they've been having mostly positive conversations with people, not only here in New Hampshire, but across the country. And let people decide if you don't feel safe leaving your house and being around people without masks, don't leave your house. At this point, the owners don't know when they'll be able to open their diner once again, but they hope it's sooner rather than later. Reporting in Epping, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.